everybody, we are on a ferry that is going to take us to the Asian side of Istanbul. You can see behind me, it'll be a short journey. And here's Denise coming up the stairs. The ferries in Istanbul will take you anywhere where you want to go. The most important thing that you need to remember is that there's two types of ferries. The tourist ferries cost about $1.50 and the regular ferries cost about 20 cents. This is a 20 cent ferry that we're riding on right here. And you can use your Istanbul cart card for either one, it doesn't matter. We are leaving here the European side of Istanbul and headed over to the Asian side of Istanbul. You can see over there the palace and this is still also the European side. Over that way would be Europe itself and the Marmaran Sea and over this way where we're headed is Asia. Across that bridge there is the Black Sea that goes into Russia and then that's where we're headed. This ferry went to Uskadar, which is a little bit north of Katakoy, but we wanted to go on this ferry because we wanted to see this tower called the Maiden Tower. It's named the Maiden Tower because there is this legend about this 18-year-old maiden who died by a poisonous snake on this tower, but the real story is even better. This tower was made in the 12th century by the Byzantine Emperor Alexius Cornelius, and he built the tower so that he could use it to stretch an iron chain across the Bosphorus River and thus preventing anybody that would invade into Istanbul via the river. On the other side of the river we got to the port and there we got to the bus stop where we learned how to use the Turkish bus system. This is called Adolmus which translated from Turkish means stuffed because that's basically what they do, is they stuff people into these blue buses. It kind of reminded me of the Pesero in Mexico, where they run on fixed routes, and you give the guy four lira, which is about 50 cents, you tell him where you want to go on the fixed route, and that's where he drops you off. We're on the Asian side of um, Istanbul, lots of businesses, and we're going to the center of the business district, which is marked with a bull, just like New York City. Okay, so I found this little market here. I'm gonna walk up and check it out. Looks like lots of candy, lots of fish here. It's very interesting. Oh, lots of fish, look at that. What up? Wow. For three lira, I just bought some donuts. And it's gonna be on pistachio covered. So very interesting. 
They're like little donut holes. If you haven't noticed by now, the Asian side of Istanbul is not very touristy, but sometimes it's fun to do non-touristy things and just see how regular people do things. For example, one of the things that we did was go to the post office, which is very interesting because the post office in Turkey is not just for sending packages, it's also where people pay their bills. And so it was kind of like a DMV, the way that the numbers came up and you had to wait for your number to be called. We got some stamps. This is an old customs house here on the left. Got a monument to Ataturk because why else would you have a monument here? And yeah, some music going on. I think they're checking for COVID over there. Um, yeah, here at the Karakutoy. Terminal station over there is the old customs house and the monument, of course, to Ataturk because they're all to Ataturk here. And we're gonna take this time, it's just gonna be a passenger ferry. Last time we took a car and passenger, but it's just passenger this time. Here. And this will hopefully take us out to Katakoi, which is the other side of the European River. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video of Katakoi, the Asian side of Istanbul. It's not the place most frequented by tourists, but it is kind of fun to see how life is on the other side of the river. And it's just plain cool to say that you've been to two continents in one city. Where else are you going to see that? 